Hey there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited because I'm sharing a new booktube series. This is something I've been thinking about over, well, since I've started booktube um, over the past few months. I've been trying to figure out the best way to share the books I want to share, and I feel overwhelmed by it, to be honest, because there's just too many. So I thought I would do this in bite-sized segments. And so I'm going to do what I'm calling Five Book Fridays. And every Friday, of course, I will post a... Uh, video about five books from different categories, genres, or themes. So if you have a, a category or theme that you want me to share, leave that in the comments and I'll try to come up with a list for that too. So today I want to start with Cozy Reads. Now for me, Cozy Reads are those books that are lighthearted. Uh, they may deal with difficult subjects, but they make us feel warm and cozy. They're heartwarming stories about characters we just fall in love with. So, uh, I'm thinking of books like not only Agatha Christie Cozy Mysteries, because that's a category in itself, but also books like Little Women or Anne of Green Gables. And so those kind of books are what I'm thinking of. So for this particular Cozy Read selection, I'm choosing five favorite Cozy Reads that I read last year. And I'm really excited about sharing these because I, I didn't know how to share these, but I wanted to share them all. And so here we go. Uh, the first one is one that I read last month uh, in December, so just a few weeks ago, for Cloak and Dagger Christmas. Now this was not for one of the prompts actually. This was just by chance because what happened was one of the activities we had was to watch The Lady Vanishes, which is a movie based on a book called The Will Spins. And so I didn't want to watch the movie until I had read the book. Now there are, I know uh, Alfred Hitchcock made the movie years ago, but this was an updated version of that. So I ordered the book and w read it and then watched the movie. And I will say, the movie is not as good <laughs> as the book. It was okay, but if you follow me on this channel, you know that I'm not the biggest TV movie person. It takes a lot to entertain me on movies. Anyway, the book, originally called The Wheel Spin, now they have it as The Lady Vanishes, is by Ethel Lena White. And after reading this, I learned that uh, she was actually a prolific cozy mystery writer at the same time as Agatha Christie, and she was super popular during that time, but she has sort of unfortunately vanished and you can hardly find her books which makes me sad because I want to read more by Ethel Lena White so if you find some let me know because I, I would love to read more by this author. Uh, this story is about a girl on a train and it is a page turner. Uh, she's on the train and she's having a conversation uh, with one of the passengers and she's hit her head and so the the lady gives her some aspirin and she falls asleep and when she wakes up the lady has vanished she's not there and so she becomes concerned about the lady and starts asking asking the other passengers where is she well they're all like there's not a another lady I, we don't know what you're talking about so she is determined yes there is a lady and she feels like the lady is in danger and so that's how the story uh, continues and it is really a page turner thriller edge of your seat kind of book but it's not scary it's just cozy mystery sort of thing and I really enjoyed this this was fast paced and a lot of fun and I'm thankful for Cloak and Dagger Christmas because I never would have picked it up so this is probably one of my favorite cozy mysteries that I've ever read The Lady Vanishes by Ethel Lena White is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. This was a lot of fun to read. It's about Miss Pettigrew, who is a governess, but she's down on her luck. She's lost her job, and she's looking for a new one. And so she goes to sort of like a temp agency, I guess, and they give her a couple of options. And so she decides to respond to the governess position. She goes to the, the apartment, and when she gets there, uh, this lady <laughs> opens the door and things just move on from there. It's a snowball effect. She is actually um, mistaken where she's going or whatever. <laughs> it's a big mistake. But through the day, everyone's lives change, basically. And it's about Miss Pettigrew spending the day with this over-the-top nightclub singer. And it's just this... The nightclub singer's life is just drama city. <laughs> it is just full of drama. And Miss Pettigrew has never lived in uh, such a dramatic 
life. <laughs> So it's just a lot of fun and there's a lot of misunderstandings and uh, things that happen uh, that just showcase Miss Pettigrew as the wonderful woman she actually is. So it's just a sweet story. They did make a movie of this. I read the book and then I found out that they had made a movie with um, Amy Adams. Is that her name? Yeah, Amy Adams. And I love Amy Adams. I, I like a lot of her movies. So I was excited to see that. Unfortunately, I didn't really enjoy the movie, which is becoming a common theme. I don't know what it is with me and movies, but they just never, I don't know, they just never are um, what I expect them to be or something. I don't know. Maybe I just have too high of expectations. Anyway, the movie's okay, but the book is so much better. It's just a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed this one. So, Miss Pettigrew, Liz for a Day is one I hope you can pick up too. Another one that I read that is a favorite cozy read from last year. This happened to be the last book I read last year, and that was Rosamund Pilcher's Winter Solstice. Now, this is definitely a cozy, cozy read. Uh, I have never read Rosamund Pilcher, but I will be reading more because I loved it. It was a favorite read, and it just gave me all the warm and fuzzy feels. Uh, one thing I really loved about it was that it was set at Winter Solstice because... You know, a lot of times that time of year is depressing and lonely for some people. It's dark, it's lonely, but for other people, it's about Christmas time and traditions and family and fun. And so, Roseman Pilcher takes both of those and merges them together in the story. And so, at the beginning of the story, we have a tragic event uh, that happens to Oscar. And Elfrida and Oscar, they move to Scotland for... Um, Oscar to grieve and to just take some time for himself and so they moved to this estate house and while they're there some other people join them at the estate house who are also dealing with some pretty hard things in their own lives and so it was just a beautiful story of these people coming together uh, becoming a family really and supporting one another and um, just through some hard times that they were going through. It's a beautiful story and the, the last scene, the final scene, is just one of the most heartwarming scenes at Christmas time. And so I, it was a perfect read for Christmas. So you may want to read it uh, next December. Of course you can read it anytime and it would be a wonderful read, but I really like that I read it in December. Uh, another one that I read last summer that I really enjoyed, and I had heard of this book um, before too, uh, because they made a movie about this one, is The Enchanted April by Elizabeth Von Arnhem. Now, I had read Elizabeth Von Arnhem's Vera, and this is not that, so don't think they're the same. Vera is about a narcissist, basically, and gaslighting, so that's not the same thing. Uh, but this book was such a cozy read. It's about four ladies who take a holiday to a, um, a house in Italy. And it's, it's funny to begin with because the lady that kind of starts the process of taking this holiday, she wants to go to this house. She, she reads this advertisement for this house that is um, going to be rented for the whole month of April. And she wants to go, but she doesn't have the money. She can't afford it. So she asks someone else to go in with her that she's really she's acquainted with her but she really didn't know that well and then through the course of events four ladies who really don't know each other that well rent this vacation home for the month of april and at the beginning you think okay this is going to be a train wreck <laughs> because they are all so different and you just wonder how they're going to get along staying in this house together but it ends up being just a fun cozy read with some funny um, things that happen, some misunderstandings again, and it's just a fun read. Now, there is a movie, like I said, uh, I haven't watched the movie, I need to do that, called An Enchanted April, um, and I'm interested to see how that is. If you have watched the movie and read the book, let me know how they compare uh, in the comments. So that was a fun one too, a good cozy one. And then another one that I read um, that I've already talked a lot about, so I'm, I'm just going to quickly mention it, but it was a favorite cozy read, so I thought I would share it. And that was All Creatures Great and Small by James Harriet. Now, this is a memoir about a vet, and um, it's a lot of fun. What I like most about this book is every chapter is like an episode. There is a, a TV adaptation of this again, 
um, that's called I Think All Creatures Great and Small, and it's just like that. So if you like the show, you will love the book because that's what it is. It's just little episodes in this vet's life and all the people that and animals that he comes in contact each day. Just the daily interaction, slice of life kind of book. So if you like the slice of life kind of stories and you love beautiful descriptions um, of the countryside, you will love this one. It is the perfect cozy read. So those are some of the cozy reads that I enjoyed last year. Uh, those are some favorites from last year. And so I am in the mood for mo more cozy reads. So if you know of a great cozy read, that is similar to these books, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.